Hey guys, it's Ted and today we are doing a sun salutation. So we're taking everything you've learned thus far and we're linking it all together. So I wanted to break down the poses for you and then link them together in a vinyasa flow. That's what we're doing is linking all these poses together. But it's important to take time to break them down, break down each one because there's 17 things you're supposed to think about and nothing at all at the same time. So now we link together all the previous seven or nine poses that we've done. So we start in Tadasana, mountain pose. But this is a sun salutation, so I'm not really gonna call out the poses the whole time, but we're gonna flow through this. So <clears throat> palms together, take a nice full breath. Open your eyes, take a big inhale, lift the arms up and then fold all the way forward down as you exhale. So this is our standing forward bend, Uttanasana. And then halfway up, extend the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Then step back into plank, top of a push-up. Take a big inhale and then lower all the way to the mat as you exhale. Easy cobra pose, shoulders pull back, lengthen, and then downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, hold, extend the upper body, lengthen, breathe deep. Come up on the toes, walk softly to the hands. You can breathe there as, you know, three, four, five breaths. Lengthen the spine as you inhale, fold down as you exhale, and then all the way up as you inhale. Hands together at the heart as you exhale. So that was the easier version of the sun salutation. Now I'm going to do the harder version where we add our jump back to chaturanga, our jump forward, uh, and then we also lower to chaturanga and take upward facing dog. So all those poses now are added into this second round. This is what you would want to build up to. So if you're newer to yoga and you need to lower all the way to the mat because it's too hard to go to chaturanga, then, then you start to do the lower one, then you build to this one. Maybe alternate once every three vinyasas or once every five or once one every other one and then it becomes two strong ones and one easy one and then it becomes all strong ones. So go ahead and start with the feet together, bring the palms together. Take a full breath. Arms up when you're ready, big inhale. Folding forward down as you exhale. Lengthen that spine as you inhale and then we step or hop back to Chaturanga. Right into Chaturanga. Finish the exhale, upward facing dog, pull the shoulders back, and then downward facing dog. Hold it here, a couple breaths. So holding downward facing dog, one more breath. And we're gonna jump forward. So I look at where I'm gonna land, come up on the toes, squat, and hop forward. Extending the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands together at the heart as you exhale. Great. So one more quick note there on the sun salutation. Whenever I start off my yoga practice and I start to flow a little bit, when I go up and down, uh, from doing these a lot of sun salutations to warm up. Sometimes my back is still a little tight. So what I always recommend is as you come up, you just have a slight bend in the knee. And then you push the legs straight and bring the palms together. It just gives a little more forgiveness, a little more kindness for your uh, lower back. All right, so there you have it. That's the harder version and the easier version of sun salutation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.